So let me start off by saying Earth is a beautiful planet. It's our home. We should respect it with what we have. But I love thinking what's actually going to happen if a planet does glide with Earth like Planet Nine. And you know what? I'm going to test that today. But not with Planet Nine. With Mars. Mars is a very large planet. Not, not too large, but it's an average planet. It's dead out of life due to solar radiation. No water, no nothing. Impact on water to water wouldn't occur. So what this means is basically it's going to be a huge impact on where it decides to hit. So speeding up a bit more to get it closer. By now we would start to see tsunami waves hit the coasts. People are dying even before Mars hits Earth. We would start to see furious storms with because due to the rising water of the gravitational pull. Even though Mars is smaller than Earth, there is a gravitational potential energy there still. By now we would feel magnitude 9 earthquakes all over the show. Super volcano eruptions. It is truly the end of the world. And when I say the end of the world, I mean the end of the human race. By now, everybody knows what's going on. It's about to hit. Let me slow it down here. Myself, I truly, if I'm not dead already, I'd like to see this in person. If this occurred, I would stay alive for it. But I'd have a knife. No. I'd like to see it. It's an amazing sight. Truly amazing. My prediction is it's going to hit the Russian region. It's going to create a huge crater in, around most of the Pacific Sea. By now, super tsunamis. Huge. Maybe 12 kilometers high. Destroys everything. Most life is dead. Most life on land. Completely wiped out. The atmosphere starts to be pulled away towards Mars destroying that atmosphere that is extracted from Earth finally the magnitude 15 earthquake hits both Earth and Mars by now you think oh shit this is real only minutes in Japan it looks like Japan is hit. Huge impact. Straight away, we should see the poles melt. Of this fraction of Mars hitting the Earth. We start to see life that survived die straight away. The temperature of the Earth is quickly increasing. The whole world can feel it. You have an idea of what the crater will be like. It's amazing sight. Truly amazing. You see asteroids coming off the earth. You see the magma start to form. The mantle start to expose on the earth. Particles, collisions everywhere creating fragments of gas. Killing of toxic. The complete opposite to a tsunami. We start to see water recede. By now everybody knows what's happening. Everybody's hoping they survive. But by now, the mantle is truly showing in areas like Australia and around the Pacific Rim. We start to feel earthquakes all around the Earth as soon as Mars hits Earth. 
huge, knocking down anything in its sight. By now, by now, most life is dead. Toxic gas is intimate around the whole world. The atmosphere is burnt away. Everything is dead. Everything. And you know what? It's fine because we have the technology to get away from this. Humans may have escaped a extinction. However, what is not imminent is, well, another collision. So what's Earth going to do now, since Mars is gone? Their backup plan, and look at this fragment. Let me get you to pay attention to this huge fragment. There's actually multiple of them. They are four times the size of the moon. Imagine it. Secondary collisions hitting the Earth. A new moon is created from this impact. Huge asteroid. Speeding up impact. Most of Earth is gone. The United States is hit. However, water still remains on the opposite side of the Earth. Although coastlines receded we shall start sea tsunamis of remaining water and this is all on the same day guys hours later hours later the remainants the remainants of Mars's collision with Earth starts to show it's about to hit again right you'd be thinking well, you'd be correct. The gravity overrides, creating a mantle tsunami of magma. Burning what is left of the water and the crust of the earth. By now, everything, and when I say everything, I mean everything should be done. Humans, cities, evaporation. Plasma everywhere. When I say plasma, I mean heat. So does any water remain? Barely. Very hot water. If not none. We start to look as if we are the moon. Over time, we start to cool down obviously water comes back temperature decreases obviously there's going to be a big crater obviously heaps of countries are gone obviously obviously there's a huge super volcanoes uh, eruption erupting still atmosphere is most likely almost gone I start to think What's with the lights on in the United States? No way they could survive. This is just part of the game, guys. But imagine. Look at this tilt now. Look at this rotation. How can we track it? We can take what's left of the United States. And look at it. It's actually north heading pole. La. Rotation. Huge impacts huge we can obviously see where the impact is obviously we see where crust is starting to form new crust as if it's new countries again as time goes on this is our earth now although the water is not back yet we can get some more of an idea of what earth is like places like new zealand have been melted Zealandia, impact craters in Australia coming up with water could be a super volcano right very true tectonic plates new ones start to form right most of Australia is gone displacement of water 
huge. That's New Zealand, eh? That's my hometown. You know, of all places I'd be in this kind of scenario would have to be somewhere that would be in the dark forever. A dark vac vacuum of Earth. So, what's this message? Well, we would start to see seasons. All seasons occur. New Zealand, or Zealandia, known as now, is dark for ever. Although they get a glimpse at the light, it will only last for approximately half an hour. Quite a huge impact, eh? So what actually does destroy the Earth? If Mars doesn't completely, obviously an impact with Jupiter will. But what else could? Let us think about that for our next episode, eh? Right, moving on now, eh? Let's head out. Where are we? Let's see how it affected the orbit. So obviously, we've heated up a bit. The real Mars would be gone. Jupiter time. Jupiter protects us from asteroids. If we got rid of Jupiter, somehow, some way, if we took Kepler, at a huge rate from a gamma ray burst, somehow it launches it. Slow down the time. Here we go. Jupiter is about to be bombarded by its biggest, most fastest bloody target point. What's going to happen? It won't destroy Jupiter, but it will certainly affect Earth with asteroid impacts. As time goes, as time goes, guys, we start to see effects of Kepler because here we are. It would heat up Jupiter so quickly, it would create that gas again. Atmosphere would be burnt off. Huge effects. Look at that ridiculous temperature. 43,000 degrees Celsius. It would be a burning sun for what would seem like days, years. Millennia, millennia, Cody. Actually, it drops pretty fast. Although, due to radiation, places like Earth, Mars, everything, we can see the effects. We can see it. In fact, it would. It would completely alter the bloody summer and summer effect. It's huge. Jupiter would be launched as well. How about Saturn? How, how's Saturn going? How's our friend Saturn going? Still cold as a duck. Still cold as a duck. This is huge. Jupiter's gone. Let's delete her. And let's move on last target of this video Sun the Sun itself obviously if the Sun exploded it would create mayhem now guys before I said Jupiter was 43,000 degrees the Sun is 5,000 degrees so obviously it would burn Earth alive again life would be dead but imagine this imagine Imagine a huge sun coming towards us. Huge. Completely bright. Look at it. As you zoom in, you don't know what's going on. It's turned out by days again. And look at this. As we slow down the subject. Look at this. 
complete mayhem is about to start. The sun is heading towards this 21 times Earth's sun object. And, ready? BAM! Gamma ray burst. Completely destroying any planets. Earth is dead. Home is dead. We would be dead if we didn't have the technology to go as fast. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, we would be. How about Earth? How's Earth doing? Earth is completely shattered, guys. Earth is like... Where is Earth, eh? Where's Earth? Anything in it, dead. Everything. Venus. Earth. Mercury. Dead. We are gone. Now, once we fasten it up, look at it. Within a few years, we start to see this lights come back at us, and we possibly could be dead. So guys, what's this mean? Okay. Energy of a sun colliding with another sun depends on the size would obviously affect us. Now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. I will be trying to post and live stream more frequently. And I'll see you guys in the next video.